Hello there. Um, it's been a couple weeks that I've been very busy. That's why I haven't really put out any videos. Um, yeah, just busy with life, work. But I've been still keeping even more busy, I guess, outside of work with uh, the props and everything. Um, I have not been idle in that regard. <clears throat> been on a real Fallout 4 kick as far as, far as uh, making things, you know. Um, made the video, I put that up about the fusion core, but there is definitely more where that came from. And I thought I would do sort of uh, how I tackle projects you know, step by step, how we were taught to do it in Autodesk Inventor. You know, you make a sub-assembly, you make all your parts, and then you put them together in sub-assemblies, and then you bring the different sections together. So, I thought, let me make some videos about each different area. So we have a few little carrying accessories, things that I've made, we have a headpiece, and other things and each will have a separate video and then after all that I'll have a final video that showcases everything put together so I guess this will be the start of it or technically the fusion core was the start of it I don't know how loud the birds are in the background they are an absolute menace at this time of day but the first thing mentats very simple um, I don't actually have any candy or anything to put in there. That'd be a little extreme. Uh, especially considering I'm thinking, like, I can make a lot of these. Maybe sell them, you know, for, I don't know, ten bucks. I, that's, like, the price I see on a lot of these uh, eBay and Etsy sites. Um, I see them go anywhere from ten to fifteen, so... Maybe. I'll think about it. But, uh, I mean, I got three of them right here. And, actually, off of Amazon, I ordered literally a pack of 24 just plain, plain metal cases. Because, uh, you know, my initial thought was like, oh, I can use an Altoid tin. But that raised lettering on the lid, you can't really hit it out you'll just damage and mess up the the, uh, the metal. So I ordered plain, just smooth, no raised lettering, little tins. Painted them with a matte white enamel spray paint. And then I printed out my own stickers. It's that simple, really. Um, there's really not much else to, to describe. I mean, here's a little close-up. You can kind of see. But, uh... Not too much to tell on that. Something very easy to make and throw together in bulk. Um, another in bulk thing. <clears throat> though this one was not nearly as easy. Oh, I tell you. The Nuka-Cola bottle caps. <clears throat> now, you can, I think... I don't know, uh, fact check me on this, I don't know if you're able to just order bulk amount of bottle caps, but uh, I've saved bottle caps over the years, so I had quite a few available. And I then placed them all down, spray painted them all red, give it a couple coats, but then getting the actual labels on these was such a pain you know here's a couple just to show you know how much of a pain this was you know nuka cola but um some of these bottle caps come from like coke some come from cheer wine some i don't know i had my parents whenever they have guests over tell them keep the beer bottle caps even so all sorts of things 
but they've all been assimilated under the Nuka Cola label, much like the actual company in game just buying out smaller local companies. Very lore accurate. But after I painted them, I struggled with the sticker decals because printing them out, it was always a different shade of red. Even when I overprinted, right? So I'd print them once, take the same thing, feed it back through and print it to like darken it. It never quite matched up when using a white sticker paper. I tried a clear sticker paper and that is for the most part what I ended up going with. What I ended up doing is I printed that out on clear sticker paper. Thing is, when you peel it out, how the computer and everything processes it is that the white lettering is registered as nothing, right? So when I put peel it up, the letters are see-through, just like the paper. So I put them on, and then with a very fine, you know, brush, the ones that you use for like model painting. I took white paint and I painted inside the faint difference, right? I could faintly see the difference of color and painted in the letters by hand. And I have like 50 of these. I know people are going to say there's easier ways. Oh, here's this, that, the other thing. But they always looked off and like my OCD or whatever the term is, my perfectionist brain, these still aren't perfect. I hated it. <laughs> and this is as close as I can get it. So it's what I did. So after they were all painted in with white, with, uh, white paint, I then laid them all down again and took a clear coat. I think this was also a matte. Uh, finish but I took a clear coat and just painted all of them sealed it all in uh, to protect it and everything and give it a bit more uniformity and it seems to have worked for the most part I like how they came out some of them I gave a second coat of white paint to make the colors uh, the letters more bold but some of them I left it only one coat because I do plan on giving some weathering and you know extra nicks here and there to the, the bottle caps um, so it looks like the paint has kind of worn off for those, but yeah, I just hit the table really hard. <laughs> this was a pain, but it was also, you know, I guess I learned how to make them, you know, so I guess that was part of the fun, the fun. But yeah, for about a day or so, I was truly stumped. And now I got a whole satchel of like 50 of these things. So again, that is another bulk thing, but depending on how you tackle it, it can be easy or it can be very hard depending on how precise you want it to look. Now the final one is actually still a work in progress, right? The stim packs. Oh boy, the stim packs. Again, I ordered these parts off Amazon, and for the Amazon stuff, this is a note to future me to try to link the exact things I bought for this type of stuff. But what I did is I went ahead and I got, I purchased two pressure gauges, very cheap, basic pressure gauges. Don't, don't overthink it. And then I bought two of these hypodermic, like veterinary needles. So. Let me, let me get the other one here. Got two of them. They're not finished, of course. Uh, I have these foam dowels, and I basically drilled through. And the actual syringe part, right, there's an act, the actual rod. I can't take it apart because I glued everything into place. Um, yeah, I then set that over the rod, glued it into position, locked it in. I then stuck the actual nozzle which perfectly, perfectly fit right over the, um, the rod. So perfect fit, little loose. So you're still gonna have to glue it, hold it in position and let it set. It's going to be a little tricky because the original handles, thankfully they screwed off. So I was able to put that on top and this part here again, 
can't really disassemble because I glued everything in. That's should have thought about that. Um, the inside here, this is actually a separate glass tube that comes with it. You're able to take it out. You're able to unscrew and disassemble the whole thing. I took both tubes out on hooks, hung them up, and I spray painted them red and then simply put them back in. Easy. I will note, if you do buy these, you can see a bit of discoloration, some spots down there. These tubes were coated in some sort of oil. I don't know why, um, but they were. So I will, I will say as a warning, take rags, multiple rags, because apparently I still didn't get it all. Um, really take soap, hot water, whatever, get the oil off of there so that your paint will properly adhere, right? And also still give it like one or two coats, you know, just to make it more bold and even. Once that was all done, I put it back together. Conveniently, you can twist this separately into place. So I lined it up, glued it in, and that's basically it. From here, I'm planning on grinding down, taking my angle grinder and sort of evening these out. That way, I'll be able to take foam cutouts, you know, those plus symbols on the side, and then put two little layers right there on top. Like that. And then, probably a little thin piece of foam or something right here to finish, to fill out the, the neck. And then I'll paint it, cover it up in tape and right here, paint over it. The biggest challenge I think is finding a fake, like flimsy replacement that can act as a needle, you know? Um, or I'll just leave it like this. If I can't find a thin, fake, needle piece uh, I will just leave it like this but that's the stem pack and I think for where I'm at right now it actually looks pretty good you know it's a little it's a little uh, forward leaning but uh, it's real nice and another thing something I haven't yet tackled is that uh, you know the way with Amazon a lot of these shipping parts and stuff Everything's made in China. That's not lore friendly to fall out. Uh, you're gonna have to find a way to grind. There's these little weird Chinese characters here. I'm gonna have to find a way to grind that off, polish it over and get rid of that because no communist parts in my, <laughs> in my American stim packs. So it's gonna be that. Um, let me think real quick. Any other small things I've made Fallout related? Things I haven't made yet, but what I've thought of, I've got stuff on standby. Radaway pouches? No. Yeah, Radaway pouches. Um, I have some prop blood bags that I bought from Party City last year. Never used them. I was going to use them as part of my Ceres Victoria cosplay. I never got around to that for some reason. I should probably implement that. But I'll take some of them, set it aside as Radaway pouches. And then some old bottles. Let me see. Yeah, some old, like, medicine bottles. This can be used for Radax. I'm thinking just like some maroon ish paint. Put it on there. What color's the cap? I think the cap is like just black or like a vanilla color. I'll have to look that up. But yeah, just repaint this whole thing. The label, you can actually pull the label if you dig into the game files. You can pull up the texture for the Radex uh, bottle. So, and then you can also just look up a way to convert the file to like a PNG uh, and do it that way. I actually have the PNG uh, or JPEG stored, but uh, you can literally pull that from the game 
and uh, print that up. So that's easy. But that's, uh, again, that's a future little thing. And I do think that's about it for this video. Those are all the little accessories that I'm going to have as part of the, the cosplay. Uh, mostly medicine. Mo mostly chems. Mostly chems and cats. Um, I think I might actually call the video that. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be seeing you real soon because I'm about to record the next video. Peace.